All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So everyone knows that I am a mobile gamer and to be specific, I love playing first person shooters. But as much as I love killing people in games, sometimes I just want to relax and play a much more casual game. Today, we're gonna be talking about a game called Solidary Clash. Not only this is a very fun casual game that you play against real people, it is also a way for you to get some money that you can use in your other mobile game. So if you do want to try this game, make sure to click the link in the description down below. It would help Help me out a lot and again huge shout out to avia games for sponsoring these videos what i love about this game is that it's super casual you can literally play this anywhere you want and when you play against players you're going to be playing against real players no boss and the skill based matchmaking is super fair so if you're starting off and you're a brand new player you're going to be playing against brand new players but as you progress it's going to get harder competition but that makes it super fun speaking of playing the game it is actually quite simple how you can play the game once you open the game and complete the tutorial you will get some gems and you can use those gems to play free games to get more gems. So top three of each game will get gems. Top two basically will get more than a gem that you put in. You can, if you'd like, pay some money to play into cash games, but we do allow options for you to not have to play. You just get gems, you get gems daily, you can get events that gives you more gems. And then eventually with those gems, you can play into cash games. And with those cash games, you can play more cash games. So cash games will actually range from $1 all the way up to $55. You have as low as $1 three dollars seven dollars eleven dollars but you can actually play for 50 and 55 dollars and like i mentioned you don't have to spend a single dollar you can actually play it with the gems or when you have the gems you can join into cash games and those cash games will allow you to play all right so for our first gameplay we're going to show you guys a gem game so gem games are basically the free games you don't have to spend a single dollar for the gems you collect them by doing events as well as just playing the game so there's two types of gem game there's a gem game that gives you gem rewards the first one will be 20 gems, which is absolutely nothing. And the total prize pool is 120. First place will get 60. Second place will get 40. And third place will get 20. So top three will get your gems back. There's going to be six players total. So half the time, you will at least get your gems back. Now, this is the best one or the one that you can make money without spending any money. So for 1,200 gems, which might seem like a lot, but if you're just playing the game on a daily a little bit, you'll be able to get this in no time as well as the events. You will get a total prize for $7, of which first place will get $4, second place will get $2, and third place will get $1. And with that, you can eventually play some cash game and make some money. It's going to take a lot longer than if you spend money, but if you don't want to spend money and try to get some money, this is a good way. All right, so as you guys can see, we're going to be loading up against 10 players or nine other real players. So in this situation here, we're going to be trying our best to try to clear the board. We're going to be moving our jack and queens all on the kings so that we can open up some space as you can see i'm clicking around to try to move whatever opens up playing on the top i can already tell there's nothing i can add onto it so we're gonna be going through the boards you're gonna be getting points based on stuff being moved on top and stuff being moved onto other cards you do lose points if you start rotating through so if i ever undo or if i hit the next roll you're actually gonna start losing points but in this situation we're trying to just rotate rotate as much as we want and trying to get aces onto the board so once you get aces you can start moving the cards onto the left side as well as clearing these empty spots as soon as you get a empty card spot on the middle part you can eventually throw the kings down there so what i'm trying to do as much as i can is rotate and try to move like the two onto the other way or the four so i'm kind of looking right now for a five of red because you can only play red cards and black cards on the opposite color so for example right now i just moved a bunch of cards my kings were moved in now i'm still looking for the aces i'm slowly but surely able to move a bit of the aces but i'm getting a little bit nervous because i seem to be kind of stuck we'll see that five is not going to help a bit but that two is actually going to be very useful as i do manage to open up a little bit but as of now i am getting a little bit nervous because the whole right side i'm still missing a few cards to open and with that i feel like we're getting close to that end game where i'm going to be stuck but it's not a big deal because in this game everybody has the same board so although i ended with a total score of 
1117 it doesn't necessarily mean i am gonna lose so unfortunately we only got fourth place we lost by about 300 to 400 points and honestly i probably could have played that better but i was trying to get this as fast as i can because the time is important whoever finishes faster will get even more points they're actually somebody who got 5,000 points which is pretty impressive they're gonna get that four dollars but i just missed out which is kind of unfortunate but still the cool thing about it is i didn't have to wait for this to load up we just wait for people to eventually finish and then eventually you'll get some money let's hop into a cash game real quick and see if we can win some money all right so in this next gameplay we're gonna go ahead and play the seven dollar gameplay it's gonna get a 35 dollar prize pool total which is 17 first 10 for second and third place will get eight dollars so a little bit more than your entry price if you get third place so in this game is actually a pretty good start we have an ace and then we put the two right off the bat so putting the four onto that is actually really huge so we're gonna start rotating on top see if we can get anything good four is not helpful ten is not helpful ace is really good five is gonna move down that's gonna be really good if i could have moved the king down below that would have been super good but we need a king heart or king red to move that down but right now it's kind of looking a little bit sloppy as we had to rotate through but that seven is going to be huge T the 10 as well because we moved the nine so there's a chance we might be able to get a jack uh, the black jack into there so that the nine can move so we can get a king there we go perfect nine should be able to move down there now we're gonna try to get a king i would like to get a a red king but i get both at this situation so perfect we get the black king down there if we can get a red king it'll be perfect or any of the other remaining ace the queen is kind of stuck there so it's kind of unfortunate if i get a ace of diamond this would be huge because i can move a lot of stuff up there but so far we're kind of just slowing it down and trying to move as much as i want we can move the king around but i just misclicked there to be honest with you guys six is not going to help four is not going to help right now we seem to be kind of stuck so in the end we were stuck and we decided you know what we're just going to end it here and hopefully we can still potentially make some money although the number is low anything can happen and bam as you guys can see we got third place so even though we had a very low number we were able to get eight dollars so even though you might think you lost because of the skill based matchmaking you're gonna be playing against players the same skill level there's a good chance you can still cash so as we join the game you'll see we're not actually gonna get into a full lobby you'll see we have two out of seven and the timer on the bottom is gonna go down that doesn't mean you're only gonna be playing against two players it just means that the system is gonna take a little bit more time to find players the same level as you since i did win the game or got some money it's gonna be a little bit harder but that being said, you will get players closer to your skill level. So you're actually going to finish the game before a lot of other players. So it might take a little bit of time to process this game. So I'd just like to mention that Avia Games does not tolerate any types of cheating. And that's why you can see that the ratings in the App Store is very high. You can be assured that this game will be fair and legitimate. And every time you play, you're going to be playing against people the same skill level. So as I mentioned, we're still searching for other players. So this might take a little bit of time. But as you can see, our score is very high. 7,289% is 6471 we will see if we're gonna get some money from this so ladies and gentlemen we got the second place finish making it a ten dollar prize so we did win eighteen dollars in the last two games granted the profit was only four dollars but still four dollars is profit but anyway that's gonna be it for today Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out the game, make sure to click the link in the description down below. Again, shout out to Avia Games for sponsoring this video. Very much appreciated. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.